Hey everybody, it's Steve from We Just Play Games, and this is the dark and scary city of Oakmont. Today we're gonna try a side quest. I haven't haven't decided on which one. Give me a moment while I load up the fucking map. Too damn long. All right. Letters from Oakmont. That's gonna take way too long. It's too much to read. Too much reading material. Find the pride. Oh, it's a lost boat. And home of the infected man. Oh, a doctor wants me to do this. Okay, let's find out what happened there. What do we got? What do we got? Dr. Grant from the Oakmont City Hospital is interested in wild beasts. He believes that by studying these creatures, their origin and their habits will be able to reduce the number of citizens they injure or kill. I'm I'm all in favor of that. Can't leave his patients though, so I agree to assist him with field research for a price. Visit a shop in Central Salvation Harbor on Windheim Street, south of Polaris Road. Alright, uh, Windheim Street, south of Polaris. Map. Windheim, Windheim. South of Polaris. I'm not a freaking native of this place. Wharf. Uncertain Street. Nice. Windmill. I need Windheim. Salvation. Should be near here, right? Maybe that was the name of the place. Salvation. There's Salvation Road again. Windheim, where the fuck are you? Holy crap, am I blind? Is that what's happening? Coverside West, what, what's, what's that about? Field research, local fauna. Former patient shop, okay, where is it? Windheim, Windheim. Every good plan involves... Ha! Planning! Here we go! South... There's Windheim. South of Polaris, though. There's South of Polaris. So fuck it, let's... I, th I, this has got to be the place. It's all windy and shit, too. Where's my flashlight? Nope. 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 Flashlight. Flashlight. No, that's a gun. Don't fire the gun. That's a brick. Nope. There we go. I have to plot a better course here. Really? All the way down there? Holy crap. Okay. So get on the boat, straight, take a left, straight, take a left, okay, so boat time. And uh, I'll be right back when I get there. This should cut down on the actual recording time too. Oh boy. There's already a marker on the screen that says this place is too dangerous. All right, we gotta take a right as soon as possible. Oh, fuck. Fuck that. Alright, back to relative safety. Alright, we're gonna take a right on Webster. What the hell are you doing? Well, that bear will freak the fuck out. The sea is angry at me. Alright, we're almost there. Kinda wish I had started here. Like, started the video here. A little more... A bit more of a populace than I thought there'd be. Get the drunk out of here. Who's, who's drunk? I ain't drunk. I'm, I prefer the term inebriated. It, it stops the shakes and the visions. Alright, so a sick man lives nearby. Nearby cemetery. Fantastic! That's not foreboding at all. I thought I was going to sneak under, but alright, this works too. I don't, I don't think that's your problem area, bud. Church of Redemption. 
Let me just check that casebook thing again. South of Polaris Robe. Visit a shop. Oh, it's a shop. Okay. Windheim Street, Stroth, south of Polaris Road. Windheim Street. Okay, where the fuck is Polaris? This is indeed south of Polaris. Okay, this is Windheim. So it's just, is this, maybe this way? Maybe it's behind me. So I gotta get all the way around this building again. Mildly surprised that no zombies have come popping out, but that wasn't really a Lovecraft thing, was it? There we go. I can enter this. Men's finest clothing, eh? Yeah, that's coming up on the map. Okay, so get rid of that. In we go. Investigation abounds. Whoa! Ah, shit! What the fuck was that? Oh, it's shooting things. It's shooting things. What the fuck is happening? I think there's one behind me. I think there's one behind me. Yeah, there's totally one behind me. Oh, there's even a smoggy. I have no ammo. And I can't reload. Can you fucking not? I think this one's spawning them and that's why it's just running away and not attacking. Back here, little shit. I think I need to craft some bullets or something. One bullet. Damn it, I used that many bullets already? Did they go downstairs? Oh fuck! I'm downstairs now. Okay, well. Let's craft some more fucking bullets. Thank God. We just gotta beat the shit out of the other thing with a shovel. Oh, shit! There are no... There are no stairs. There are no stairs. God damn it. This is not going to be doing anything more sanity. 
I thought if I swung earlier. There we go. Fuck that door up. Just walking around in darkness. Ah, I fell down again. No, it, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. Come on. Come on, bring it, you simple bitch. Yeah, fuck off. Get out of here. You're not wanted here. Okay. We're gonna stay out of the basin for a bit. Seems after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self-medicate. Noted. Those bloodstains would definitely attract wild beasts. Please no more wild beasts. Something sounds slimy. Oh, it's just those things fading away into the abyss. The dreams returned again, even stronger than before. I feel those things touching me, crawling, leaning towards my warmth. The doctor is a Dane obsessed with his theories, but who can help me? I'm losing my mind. Today I woke up and one of the creatures was under my blanket. I smashed it on the floor and stomped until it stopped moving. But it was no more than a dream. It was real. Neither coffee nor cocaineum. Cocaineum? Hmm. Worked to stay awake. Kay, help me. Twice I've almost fallen asleep and they appeared again. I've got the willies. I'm gonna be calling it that from now on. Those locks? Is this playing? The whispers. The whispers are gonna get me. Oh, fuck, hello. Let's follow the fucking tentacles. Alright, we've already killed everything down here, hopefully. Let's see about this body. I don't think he's going to tell me much about those monsters. It's okay, I'll hang around for a while. But um tsh Can't bear to stay awake any longer. Can't let them take me there. Every time I see them in a dream, they appear near me. Touch me with the cold hands, sting me with those tails. There's only one way to end the suffering. K forgive me. Yeah, collect that key evidence. So, do I piece it all together now? Bring it all back to the doctor? Wait, no, let's just keep the eye up open a little while. Or did I have to start following the trail? Fuck! Mildly surprised nothing jumped out from the, you know, the coffin. That's me! I think my insanity is slowly going down. Does it help? Does that help not being in the mind's eye anymore? Well, it's kind of like film grainy now. I'm kind of going nuts. Okay, the tentacle things aren't here anymore, so I guess that means we've got all the evidence. Alright, home of the infected man. Ah, good old daytime. Can't go crazy out here. Too many, too many people would see me. Alright, casebook. Now, where is he? Moorland Road between Higgs Lane and Benevolent Tides Road. Fuck, okay. Map time! Benevolent, Benevolent Tides. You'd think he'd live near his own shop.
Okay, Moreland Road. Benevolent, tide, benevolent Tides. What was the other thing? What was the other point of reference? Salvation Harbor. Moreland, on Moreland Road between Higgs Lane and Benevolent. Alright, let's just fucking head there, I guess. Higgs Lane, Benevolent Tides Road. I'm inside of a boat. Why am I inside of a boat? This is some bad clipping. This is some bad clipping. I can't. I'm just gonna fucking power through. Alright, we're almost there. There we go. They live on this thing. He might have lived on this thing. Hey, right on. Could use a quick sweep. Why invisible? That it? I gotta heal. That's better. Okay, you can go away now. One bullet. Also one bullet. Hello, Orsi. Every kid's childhood dream. I wanted a toy like that too once. Okay, what are you about? Are you gonna hurt me if I step on you? No? We're good? Aw, oh, it's a kid's book. Bad dreams again. The thing under the floor keeps scratching. I told mom, but she said it was rats. Dad told off John for playing with slimes near the hole, but it wasn't him. I told dad about the thing who lives in the basement and he punished me too. Tonight I saw the head looking from the hole and cried. It comes at night and wants me to do bad things to me and John. Sorry, it wants to do bad things to me and John. I don't know, I'm still reading it as a kid. Why don't mom and dad believe me? I was so tired from not sleeping today that I could, couldn't watch the hole. And today I feel so bad. My belly hurts. My mouth tastes like slimes. Mom and John said they feel bad too. Even now I hear it scratching. Oh, it's a little girl too. That's not even... That was not right. Yo. Gross. It would suck sleeping in the same room. What the fuck is that thing? I'm insane. Why am I insane? Jesus Christ. Alright, just take a breather. Take a breather. What's this? Is this antipsychotics? There we go. Had a picture of a brain on there. I took a guess. So this is the hole that the slimes appear in. It's not a rubber duck, but it'll do. I don't want to break that down just yet. There's probably something very evil behind it. Can't carry anymore. Shell casings! <laughs> Alright. Let's arm up a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. I can make drugs? Nice. Alright, eight bullets should be enough to kill anything. I warn you! I'm armed! I'm basically just robbing this place. There's, there's really nothing to go on. I guess I gotta go upstairs. Watch your corners. Oh, more of that red loveliness. And we're not fucking going this way, are we?
I don't have any ammo. I need drugs. I need drugs, drugs. Was close. God damn. I'm kind of printing money, but I can't fucking spend it. I gotta. Bull bullets are the money system in this game. Please don't let there be a final boss. Those are just the bodies decaying, right? Uh, weeks have passed since this food was cooked. The slime stinks even worse than the body. Is that a hat? I'll be with you in a moment. Oh no, I guess we're going through. No matter how bad I feel, I have to go to work. Why can't you understand that? So he's committed to the job. This, John, you. Oh, oh, what is happening to me? So is that one person right there? Mm, there's got to be one more. Ah, yes, downstairs. To figure this out. All right, so it's got to start with the sickness, and then the guy saying, "No matter how bad I feel, I've got to go to work." Stairs, 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 not stairs. It's hard to tell where stairs are in the whole mind vision part. There we go. No matter how bad I feel, meh, 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 meh. no matter how bad I feel, I have to go to work. What? <laughs> this. Come on, give me that green light. God. You, oh, oh, oh. What is happening to me? Yay! He's crawled from the sunken basement at night and infected the family. After a short incubation period, they turned into monsters too. And I killed them all. God damn it! Not that again. Get out of here. Get, get out of here! God damn right. I do believe we've made it. I'm well on my way toward all the free drugs I can handle. That's that's the trade-up, right? I solved the case, he gives me all the drugs I want. Hey, Mr. Grant, sorry, Dr. Grant. I checked the house of the diseased man, Bells. His family has turned into those creatures, too. Huh. Fascinating. Did you discover the source of the contamination? Red the creature ooze. creature emerged from their sunken basement and transformed them. I think its vomit is contagious. Hmm. If so, we must quarantine it. Those Lethian revenants are a huge threat. This city could not survive an epidemic like that. What did you call them? Uh, Lethian revenants. Oh, you may thank the university professor for the beast's unwieldy names. Lithian. I called into the shop of your patient. Unfortunately, he committed suicide. Oh, I wish I could say I was surprised. Sorry for wasting your time. Pay me! It wasn't entirely a waste. I found some evidence that sheds light on the origin of those creatures. Uh, for what it's worth, Professor Westerbrook calls them Stygian Harvesters. That's worth a nickel. But, uh, what is it you found? Your patient's diary. His dreams became too real, too confronting. He 
tried to stay awake using stimulants, but those Stygians appeared near him when he slept, as if they were leaking from his nightmares. So it's all coming hmm. from him. A psychic phenomenon or manifestation. How unnerving. I'm afraid he's not the only one suffering from such dreams. I found your studies rather interesting, Dr. Grant. Got more places to search? What dedication. Thank you. Your findings have been a rich resource for the scientific cause. I've got two more places for you. More dangerous, one with huge monstrosities, but I'll prepare a comparable reward. And I'll pass for now. Just what am I getting myself into? One of Oakmont's largest stores was closed after the flood hit. A looter tried to break in, but his thievery was, shall we say, interrupted. He was set upon by a huge wild beast and hardly made it out. The question is, with the building locked up tight, how did that creature get in? The, the, the building itself had a nightmare and that was the manifestation of it. Oh, what about the place with more manageable creatures? Well, there's a restaurant here with a bad reputation, not for its food, but for women disappearing. The police found nothing. I treated the partner of one missing girl. He arrived here severely injured and told me about the jumping maws. He was at the restaurant too, I suppose. Indeed. Jumping maws sounds like a hip-hop group composed entirely out of mothers. Please investigate and find out how that's possible. Bye. Very convicted by oh, Westerbrook's guide. Nice, hot damn, nice rewards. A 12 gauge shell. I don't have a shotgun yet, though. And I got some antipsychotics. All right, this is good. This is a good reward. I look snappy as fuck. Thanks for watching. I think we'll get back to the main mission next time.